All right, so how do I use ChatGPT for my Shopify store? And does Shopify even have a chat bot? Also, we're gonna cover in this video, how do I actually add a chat bot to my Shopify? So these three great questions, I had one of these emails from one of our uh, subscribers on Marketing Food Online, and they wanted to know how I could actually use it because he started a Shopify business, but he's getting a lot of mixed messages about what you could do and really how do you use it? So welcome to Marketing Food Online. And in this video, I'm actually going to show you several ways that we've actually begun to use chat GPT on one of many of our websites, but the one in, in general and more specific actually is marketing food online. I'm going to take you over to the website. I'm going to show you how we use it and even show you how to find it in the app store and how to get that chat bot onto your website. Now, the first thing right out of the bat, if you're brand new to Shopify, or maybe you launch a Shopify store, but you're, you're trying to generate more sales and you're trying to make it the functionality much better. Some of the great things that you could do with the chat GPT is write product descriptions. Number one, I'm actually going to give you about 20 different ways in this video. So you want to stick around from beginning to end. If you can't watch the whole video, pause it, come back to it. Definitely check out each of these 20 because they're amazing features. So the first one is a product description. Now, what I want to do is, as I want to write out just something really vague here. So write a product description for my candy business sorry <laughs> product description for my let's just say chocolate covered pretzels include full description of the 12 pack mixed flavors individually wrapped and safely shipped now the really interesting thing you want to keep in mind when you start to write product descriptions is that you really need to prompt the thing with the chat gpt or any bot is you want to make sure that you're using prompts that will get you the response you need the more specific information you can give it then it can create a more specific product description this goes for anything if it's a digital product we sell digital products as well on marketing food online if you sell a physical product on our stores, what our Amazon store, even on Amazon, eBay, Etsy, all of our stores get these descriptions now. We're revamping and going through it just by adding these specific descriptions. So this is great. So you type in, it's a 12 pack mixed flavors, individually wrapped. The more features of the product you give it, the more precise and the better off the actual description is gonna be. And that's one great way to use it on your Shopify store. So introducing um, our delicious chocolate pretzel rods, the perfect sweet and salty treat on any occasion. Each 12 pack includes a variety of mixed flavors. Yeah. The pretzels are carefully dipped in rich with java and they're great. And then for your convenience, each one is individually wrapped. This is like fantastic. This is amazing. And it's not too, too long because again, when you write your product descriptions too, what's great about the chat GPT, when you apply this to your Shopify store is the very fact that it is precise and to the point. You don't want to write a description so long that your customers don't want to sit there and read a book. Okay. They just want to know what is the product? How is it packaged? What flavors do you get or how does it come? And then that's it. Get to the point, but be precise. This is great for your convenience. Each is individually wrapped. This, this right here is fantastic for us. So literally, I would take this entire product description, copy this, and then paste it right directly onto my listing on my Shopify store. Now, what else can it do, Damien? Like you said, you're going to give me 20 things. So this is the first one. Now, guess what? Let's just say you're also creating a Shopify store that is an affiliate marketing store. This is actually something that we do on our other website, on our blog, actually. We create these comparisons and product reviews. So if you have a product, and let me go over to Amazon. Let me show you something really quick here. This is really cool. Um, this product right here, this is hugely popular. Uh, this one right here, this is something that we sell a lot of on our website. We actually get a commission for it. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to write here, I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to come over here, right click, so I can uh, copy this. There we go. And I'm going to go back over to ChatGPT. Check this out. Now, if you're an affiliate marketer and you're looking to create revenue through affiliate links, but you want to create a review, write a product review in great detail about the following product. Now, the reason why I word it this way, listen to what I say. This is what I'm going to tell you. This is very important. The reason why I word it this way is because from here, the following product, colon, and then paste it. It's because I can go back through, and when I want to create 
several product reviews for different products. I don't want to keep writing it. So I'm going to actually use this as a foundation right here. You see this? I'll copy and paste this, and then I can simply copy and paste the, the actual product name and then hit go, hit it start, and look at this. It will literally create a product review for that product. Continuous sealer machine is an impressive piece of equipment that delivers high quality sealing results, etc. One of the standout features of this machine, it goes on and on and on. And it creates literally a product review for you. I'll copy this and paste it. Now, the one thing though I would highly recommend you do is you need to tap into this particular um, website, Quillbot. I use Quillbot, I actually pay for this service $75 a year for the whole year, it's amazing. Now, the reason why I say this is that a lot of these responses that you're going to get are very robotic. Obviously, it's from a robot. It sounds robotic. And it's not going to pass Google's. It's hard to rank, even if you have this, this right here, create a review for you. So I actually go over to Quillbot, and they have all these amazing they paraphrases. Basically, paraphrases makes it sound more human-like, to be honest with you. Now, what I do is I always use this one, creative. See this right here? This one with up to two less accurate as the more that you go with the synonyms the less accurate of the actual reproduction of it but it sounds more human i don't know if that makes sense but it basically go to the second notch go to the creative and then i paste this okay then i hit paraphrase watch this this is amazing this also does this in like seconds there you go boom so then i come over here and i will go ahead and copy this and that becomes my actual product review it's been literally paraphrased so it sounds human like so put that in your website, and then from there, you can put pictures or whatever. Okay, back to the Shopify store. So that is for affiliate marketers. If you're looking for a product review. Now, Damien, what else can you do with it? All right, so your, your Shopify store, you're probably going to have a blog. I actually have a blog on Marketing Food Online, which attracts, we have about thirty to 40,000 uh, page views every single month um, on our blog alone, which drags a lot of traffic to our website. So how do I use that for my Shopify blog? Great. Write me a 500-word blog post about how to start a food business let's just say okay and again you can have it do whatever you want but i'm just putting this in as an example so in a matter of seconds it's going to create this blog and it's basically outlining the steps to create a food business now obviously the use of food business is very vague it's not very specific as to what type of food business so the more specific again you can be the more specific this blog post will show, okay? Create a menu, find suppliers, develop a brand. It literally is walking you step by step. Now, it'll stop at around 500, there we go, it's amazing. 500 words is what we asked for, you got about 500 words here. Sometimes it goes slightly over, sometimes it goes slightly less. Another way that you can use chat GPT for your Shopify, great, right? Then you're gonna copy and paste this, and again, run this through Quillbot. Don't directly paste this onto your blog, because the fact that Google and other search engines will spot the AI actual blog itself, and you probably won't get uh, found on search. Most of them actually operate that way as well. So let me refresh this really quick. And again, here we go. We're going to go back over. It's still set on creative. And all I do is copy and paste, hit paraphrase. And then over here, it's going to show you a paraphrased version of what I just made. Okay, boom. That's your blog post. What else can it do for me, Damien? I've got a Shopify store. You told me you got 20 ideas. Yep, we certainly do. Watch this. List 20 ways with descriptions how I can use chat GPT for Shopify. And please use great detail now the reason why i say that is that i don't want a lot of vagueness i don't want a lot of vague stuff in this i want it to be specific and give me information about 20 ways to use there's 20 ways to uh, with descriptions on how i can use the chat gpt for shopify watch this this is absolutely amazing so this takes the brainstorming session if you will the brainstorming part out of your having to figure out how to incorporate ChatGPT in the app itself and what it can do and how you can actually embed this and create this and add this onto your Shopify store. So it's literally going through. So as it spits out the rest, let's scroll back up really quick. So customer service. ChatGPT can provide instant response to customer inquiries, improving the overall shopping experience. 
You can literally incorporate ChatGPT, guys. So it would give an instant response if a customer wants to engage with that bot and get an instant response back. Next up, personalization. This is one that I love so much because it really customizes and personalizes that customer's interaction with your website based upon their other shopping thing. They can analyze the customer data and personalize product recommendations and improve customer experience. Because if a customer buys XYZ of your products, this will actually take that data and then offer other products that would go along with XYZ. You follow what I'm saying? That's again, it's an example of what you could use with that. Marketing. You don't need to be a marketing genius. If you're starting a Shopify store and you obviously need to, to learn how to market and promote your store, you're not very good at it. That's fine. I actually hold a degree in marketing. That's what I studied in college. That kind of helped me with what I do now, understand it better, but maybe you don't. Maybe you're just not, that's not your thing. That's okay. Because ChatGPT can actually be incorporated and can provide insights into customers' behaviors and preferences, allowing you to create more targeted and effective marketing campaigns. It just goes on and on and on. And again, you can use this prompt if you guys want to. Um, list 20 ways to do with descriptions how the ChatGPT can be used for Shopify. Put that into the ChatGPT when you're done with this video. Go over there and take a look. And it will spit you out all of these variety of ways that you can do. Sales forecasting. Based on sales analysis and data, this can help future sales and forecast what people are going to buy and what they're not going to buy. This is astounding stuff. This is amazing stuff, guys. So it's not just basic things like simple blog posts, uh, product reviews, or even product descriptions. Excuse me. But you can really get deeper and, and go a couple layers down and figure out how can this really incorporate uh, the website and incorporate a customer's interaction and experience on your Shopify store and make it more profitable for you. Now, let's say you have an email list and you've got some new products. Write me an email letter for my customers who buy digital downloads and I want to let them know about five new downloads. Okay, so you have an email. Here we go. Here's the subject line. Again, if you're not in the space where you're selling physical products, but you're selling digital downloads, and you simply want to give them a heads up in your email list, you can create this email. And of course, here, let's just give you an example, obviously, but you can critique this. You can uh, particularly tell them, hey, five new downloads. Here's the name of those downloads. One, two, three, four, five, right? So that will be included right here, Okay. So here's five new downloads. They just give it as an example with a description even. That's crazy. So here are my five new downloads that we're offering. We're offering. Hope this email finds you well. I mean, literally gets it almost personalized. Sounds like you're talking to them. Again, create customized emails for your email list on Shopify with ChatGPT. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap it up. I could sit here for two, three, four hours and tell you, but this is super exciting about what it can actually do for your Shopify business. Here are literally 20 ideas on top of the ones we've already discussed and showing you all of this up here. It's amazing. So if you're looking to figure out, does Shopify have a chat bot? Yes, it actually does. And by the way, oh, wait, let me show you really quick. Yes, where it is. So we're all, actually went ahead and open this up on the, on the app store on Shopify. So we're going to do chat bot. We're going to type that in. Here we go. And I meant to tell you, here it is. I wanted to show you. So here's Insta chat bot, um, live chat, uh, uh, Givo chat is another one. Best chat, live chat bot. It just goes on and on and on. They have dozens and dozens of them. Okay. Go bot, which is kind of funny. Um, live chat, GB, uh, chat bot, easy as well. Uh, AI chat bot, shopping assistance. Fantastic. Again, all of these can be found on simply over going over to the app store, type in chat bot. And then incorporate these. And the, the actual process to put these in are very simple. They really just more or less at last you give you a notice, a mess message accepting the chat, the actual app itself onto the website. You accept it and it downloads and you're offset. You do most of the configuration is done automatically, so it's really super simple. So there you have it, guys. This is how you use Chat GPT for your shop, Shopify store. If you have any more questions about it, let us know down below. I hope this was helpful. If this was and it gave you some great ideas, please do give me a big thumbs up because YouTube loves that, lets you know that my uh, information and videos are helpful. And as always, thank you guys for taking your time. I'll see you on the next video.